afternoon, dear colleagues. Bonjour, Dragi Colleges. My presentation consists of two parts. In the first part, I will show you in an interactive uh, game. This game is a part of the real journalistic investigation and uh, the uh, real advocacy campaign. I will tell you about this while you uh, test this game on your computers and gadgets. And after that, uh, we go on to the second part. In it, I tell about the concept of an integrator. It's our know-how, it's a new social technology, and uh, it's a new approach to informational processing. Uh, let me start. The description of the uh, game. We have a unique place uh, in Ukraine, the Kimball Speed. There are safari clays, pine forests, a reserve with the rare plants and animals, and clear sea. In summer, thousands of tourists come here on vacation. The local land is expensive. A hundred thousand, hundred square meters, one acre. Cost from a thousand to three thousand dollars. Over the past few years, the local village council have uh, about 2.5 uh, thousand plots of land for free. Among the beneficiaries are uh, law enforcement officers, uh, officials, deputies, prosecutors. Uh, we invite you to join the fight against uh, corruption in Kingdom Speed. The instructions are here. The goal of the game is to collect the land which the local chairman of the village council gave free of charge to high-ranking officials. On the map there are labels. Each of them is a piece of land. Uh, clicking the labels, you can see who and how much land we saw free in this beautiful corner of the Black Sea port. Some videos from the birds are view I touched in this map. On the right, in the upper corner, there is an count. It shows how many square meters of land have already been collected uh, by clicking on the labels. It's necessary to pass four levels. After this, the table of the owners of the land was over. You are welcome to join the team of investigators. Uh, our project was aimed uh, it identified the corrupt schemes for issuing licenses for usage uh, of the land in the recreational and nature protect zones for construction by local authorities. At the beginning of uh, 2017, residents of one of the most remote districts of Nikola region addressed us with a complaint about the action of the local officials who using Legislative gaps are trying to liquidate one of the schools on the Kimball Street. They wanted to use this building and uh, the plot of land under it for hotel resort. As a result of the action of the officials who are not clean at hand, the children of the local residents are forced to travel 25 kilometers a day to distant village, uh, taking into account the specific features of the Kimbo Street, where there are practically no roads. Children are taken to school by cross-country vehicles of rough terrain. Uh, parents took this as a mockery and turned to journalists uh, for help. its way to uh, local school. Uh, within five months, the reporters conducted a journalistic investigation as well as a number of educational events and uh, advocacy campaigns. The investigation on the age of Earth is located 
is in the laundry format is here. As a result, uh, the court decided in favor of the local community and abolished the legal decision of the district council to change the educational level and school under discussion. The children return to their school. How did they do this? Uh, abuse of power in the distribution of land on the Black Sea coast is not the first time to appeal for journalists. So years ago, in the investigation of cybers against prosecutors, corruption schemes in other villages were revealed. But this time, the behavior of the officials uh, who took the school from the children was so cynical that the journalists decided to use not only informational but also educational technology against them. We trained uh, 30 students uh, from eight regions of Ukraine the new ways of collecting and processing information. The five best of them later participated in special organized internship. They conducted a field research visiting directly their place. In this video we look uh, where is Pilbon uh, Speed, a small peninsula in the south of Ukraine.
Um, it consists of the following. A small human rights group consisting of a journalist, lawyer, and civil activist is formed on the territory of one region and works in the other region. At the same time, on the territory of the neighboring region where the small human rights groups plans to go, a support network of local activists is being formed. These activists give the small human rights group the information about human rights violations in their territory. Uh, human rights uh, patrols return home after they have worked on the neighboring territory. This technology helps protect human rights defenders from reprisal by, reprisals by, by government authorities and avoids the risk they would face in case they walk on their own land. Previously, such technology was widely used in military and law enforcement agencies. We became the first in Ukraine uh, who applied this technology for peaceful purposes. During the project, more than 20 such small human rights groups were created in 10 regions of Ukraine. We will find that the action of small human rights groups are most effective at the stage when civil society awakens and begins to act. I would like to mention what the stages of these civil actions campaigns are. The three conditional stage is development of civil society. One, society is asleep. Two, society is awakening. And three, society is acting and citizens are achieving their goals. This is shown in the next diagram. As a rule, each participant of such HR patrol representative of their professional community. A journalist necessarily works in some editorial office, a lawyer in the legal office, and civil activists in a public organization. Working as a part of small human rights group, people don't voluntarily involve other employees of their organization in their activities. At this third stage, not only individuals but entire organizations are involved in the human rights activities. For example, it was this exchange of knowledge, the idea that the concept of an integrator was born. It's our know-how. It is the usual uh, traditional decision-making uh, process is similar to a microscope with uh, the lenses. Through this microscope, the person making decision uh, look at the operating environment. The role of lenses in this microscope is carried out by activists, journalists, and analysts. Civil activists gather data uh, on the problems of their territory communities. Uh, journalists use uh, this data to transform into information, and political analysts use information to develop solutions of the problems. In this case, person making the decision as a rule is far from the operating environment and from the problems of the people. An illustration of this uh, can serve as a typical 30 meter fence. Such fences Ukrainian parliamentarians and high ranking officials use to hide themselves from the people. It's a real fence. And with this uh, method of informational processing, the decision making process is rather long and takes a lot of time. And the going down procedure of implementation is as long as the previous one. In order to speed up uh, to speed up this process, we turn the microscope and place it inside the operating environment. Now it looks more like a megaphone. Uh, now all processes, data collection, informational processing, and development of solution options occur much faster. And this process are controlled by one person. We name it an integrator. 
for the first time in Ukraine, such a position was introduced in the system of free legal aid. How to combine uh, two social technology tactics of small groups and concept of an integrator? We want to teach we want to teach the active part of the population, activists, journalists, bloggers, human rights defenders, new digital tools and new social technology. Ideally, every citizen will be able to collect data, process information and develop options for management decisions. Uh, why is this necessary? Recently, civil society has faced a new challenge, the sharp power on authoritarian regimes. The sharp power is a new approach to propaganda. It's, this is a complex impact of the operating environment, that is society, on decision makers, that is government, and on communicational channels. And uh, networks of trustees across the country will allow you uh, to receive information directly, directly from the source. This makes it possible to effective combat misinformation and neutralize the influence of the sharp power. Everything that was presented here can form the basis of training course on countering sharp power uh, at the local and regional level. Let's do it together. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.